Guys, I'm down here at the fish cleaning table and I'm gonna take a moment and we're just gonna show you guys how to clean any kind of fish. Doesn't matter if it's a, a barracuda, a lane snapper, a grouper, a red snapper, a cobia, a shark. All the steps are the same when you fillet a fish. That's what I'm gonna show you guys today. First step to cleaning fish is you've got to make sure you got a sharp knife. You want to bring you a, a stone with you or your sharpening steel because uh, you're just going to have to polish up your knife every now and then. So you just, you know, this knife is already good and sharp, but I'm just going to hit it a couple times here on the stone. Now there are some guys that are going to tell you you should drag your knife this direction and that direction. You know what? I always get my knife sharp when I pull away in that direction. Either way, whatever way works for you for sharpening a knife, man, do it that way. But you got to have a sharp knife when you're filleting fish, especially when you're filleting sharks because they got super, super tough skin. I'm sure to see all these catfish that are down here. Have you ever seen so many catfish? Got us a nice Almaco Jack here, and uh, we're going to fillet this guy the same way that we filleted our lane snapper, our porgies. We're going to make a cut up here in the head, going to spin back around, come right along that dorsal, dorsal fin, holding that meat up with my fingers, cutting with my knife gently right along that dorsal fin, pulling that meat back out of the way, keeping my knife tight. To the bone get back here to the anal fin i'm gonna push it right on through keep my knife tight to the bone go back a quarter inch from the tail i'm gonna come back up here i'm gonna finish filleting this all the way down to the ribs just nice and tight up against the bones that's good flip him around my fingers go under the skin i wrap my other fingers down around the tail i push my knife through i hold the 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 skin and the meat up out of the way of the knife Pull back on the fish as I push forward on the knife, keeping the knife tight to the bones and cut right through those ribs. Should cut through there like butter. There's a, a little soft spot in the ribs and that knife will cut right through there. And there we go, man. Got us a nice, nice Almaco Jack filet. Take a look at that is some good looking fish right there. Nice and firm, man. Woo, I like that. All right, now we're just gonna cut the ribs out, just like we did on the other fish. Right here in the middle, right there, that bloodline that runs right down the middle. Just cut you a little V right there, just like that. And I still feel some bones back there. I'm gonna cut it a little bit further. Make sure you get all those bones out. It's just not worth it, man. You don't want bones in your fillet. So what if you waste a little bit of meat? It's okay. Especially if you have kids. All right, we're going to do the other side. We're going to cut way up in here. We got meat all the way up in here. So make our cut. Just follow that hard part on the head like that. Spin that fish around. Come up here. Cut right through with our knife. Get our finger underneath. Gently cut back like that along the dorsal fin. Lift up on that meat with your fingers and then cut tight down to the backbone with your knife. Just work that all the way down as you're lifting the meat up. That keeps the meat out of the way so you don't, you don't cut into the meat. You're only cutting, separating the meat from the bone. Cut back here to a quarter inch away from the tail. Now you can just push your knife through like that. Get your fingers underneath. See how my fingers are in between 
the backbone and the meat of the fish. You can grab it, hold it up like that, and put your knife right through that little hole. And then just run your knife, just right down tight against the backbone, like that, pulling back on the fish this way as you push your knife, and you just push that right. See how that just cut right through those ribs? Just easy, man, it's like butter. There's just a soft spot right there. Just cut right through them. Take that guy like that, and uh, there you go, man. Just fillet him out just like that. Pull that skin, push the knife, pull the skin at the same time, and there you go. You fillet an Almaco Jack the exact same way that you fillet a lane snapper, a porgy, a grouper, a mangrove snapper. Shark, cobia, they all get filleted the same way. Got me a nice Almaco Jack filet right there. Looking good, got a little bit of skin left on there. I don't know what I did there, but if, if that happens, you just take your knife and just, your knife needs to be sharp, but just cut that skin off, just like that. Just cut that, that little bit of skin off. You're gonna waste a little bit of meat. Not much though, if you got a nice sharp knife, you should be able to just cut that skin right off of the meat like that. And uh, see, I see, I didn't waste much meat at all there. Now, there's two things I do before I cook fish. I always double check them to make sure there aren't any bones. Like right there, I just felt some bone. That was from his fin, so I just pulled that off of there. Double check it for bones, but the other thing I'm going to do before I cook this is I'm going to cut that bloodline out of there because that bloodline has a really strong taste. So I'll cut that out of the fish. So there's my uh, Almaco Jack Filet. All right, guys, well, we got us a nice red snapper here. I'm going to clean a red snapper the same way that we clean a sheephead, a speckled trout, a Spanish mackerel, a king mackerel, a cobia, a grouper, an albaco, or almaco, a scup, a lane snapper, a vermilion snapper, sharks and cobias. I'm lifting the, the meat up away. I'm just cutting right along the backbone of the fish. Push that knife through there like that. Take that knife all the way back a quarter of an inch from the tail. Spin him around. Put my fingers in between the meat and the bone. Wrap my fingers down around the tail of the fish. Push the knife all the way through like that. Lift up on the meat with your fingers. Get it out of the way. Keep your knife tight to the backbone. Pull back on the fish this way. Push with your knife this way. If you keep your knife tight up against that backbone, you'll be able to cut through those ribs just like butter, just like that. And there you go. Got us a nice snapper fillet there. Put your fingers right here on the snapper. Put your knife in between the skin and the meat. Work it real slow. Now you can grab a hold of the skin. Pull back on the skin. Push with the knife. Tight down on the skin with just a slight angle. And you can separate that meat right off of the skin like that. Now you want to come back and just cut those ribs right out. Don't worry about wasting meat. It is more important to make sure that you get all those rib bones out of there. You don't want bones in your fillets. Right here. Right in the middle of that fillet. Come back and cut a V. Go back in about an inch and a half. Cut a V right out of there. Like that. Now you got your completely boneless snapper filet. Whoop. I'm feeling a little bone right there. You always want to feel, make sure you got all the bones. Especially before you cook it. And uh, there we go. Boneless red snapper filet, guys. All right, the other side's the same way. 
you just start your cut up here by the head spin that guy around right here on top of the dorsal fin just start your knife a little bit get your finger under there pull the meat back away from the bone and just cut with your knife just gently along that dorsal fin right up against the backbone lifting the meat up out of the way just like that no reason to get in a hurry take your time I'm gonna get all that meat right up against the bone you get back here to the anal fin you can take the knife you can just push it all the way through just like that it's right on top of the backbone you can see it's a it's above the anal fin it's above the dorsal fin and I'm right on the backbone I pushed it all the way through now I'm just gonna take that knife and I'm gonna just cut back to about a quarter inch from the where the tail meets the skin I'm just gonna stop right there make sure I got all that meat filleted off of there up to the rib cage now I just put my fingers in there between the backbone and the skin the meat like that grab it wrap my other fingers down underneath grab a hold put my knife in that little hole right there put the knife tight down against the the backbone lift up on the skin and the meat like that pull back on the fish with your one hand push forward with your knife keeping your knife tight down to the backbone and it'll cut right through those ribs like butter see that just like effortless just cut right through those rib bones and you see how that's that's right up against the backbone is where I cut those rib bones that's where that that soft buttery spot is on those ribs all right we spin those around like that get that get that meat started away from the skin you can hold down on the carcass right there when you do that then you can just grab a hold of the skin real good right there pull back on the skin keep the knife tight down to the skin push forward with a knife just wiggle both of them back and forth the knife and the skin like that and that separates the meat from the skin now you just want to cut the ribs just follow that rib line cut those ribs right out of there don't worry about wasting your meat get rid of those ribs right here in the middle there's a little blood line that runs right there you want to cut a V go back about an inch and a half to two inches cut you a nice V right there there's always a little bit of bone that runs right there you need to do that with every fish that you fillet other than a shark and uh, yeah there you go that same technique works with I've never filleted a barracuda but it works with a barracuda too so we don't have more bird, birds around here all right how to fillet a lean snapper just like any other fish you fillet them just like a grouper a porgy a scup a cobia a shark a grouper you make a cut right there that's your first cut right here along where this dorsal fin runs take your knife and just turn it like that get that skin started get your finger underneath the meat pull it up run your knife right along that dorsal fin just gently just gently pull up on the meat keep that knife tight down on the bone just like that see I'm pulling up the meat and I'm cutting with the knife right on the bone pull up the meat cut with the knife see how you can see those bones right there just keep working that back like that when you get here to the anal fin you can take your knife and push it right through see how I push that right through there now just put your knife on a little bit of an angle keep it tight to the backbone push your knife all the way down to about a quarter of an inch from the tail leave that skin attached get your fingers underneath the skin like that take your other fingers you can wrap them underneath on the tail that'll give you a good gripping power push your knife all the way through lift up see how I'm lifting up on the meat right here I'm lifting up with this hand I'm getting the meat out of the way of the knife now I'm just gonna push this knife and I'm gonna pull back with my other hand and I'm gonna cut right through those ribs I'm just gonna keep that knife tight to the backbone and there's a soft spot in those ribs and it'll cut through there just like butter and there you go 
Now take that fillet. You got something you can hold on to right here. Put your fingers right there. Your knife here. Just get it started between the meat and the skin a little bit. Push it like that a little bit on, on an angle. Now you can grab a hold of that skin. Pull back on the skin and push with the knife. Working your knife back and forth on a little bit of an angle. And you just pull that skin right off of the meat. Just like that. And now we're going to come back and we're going to cut the ribs out of this lane snapper. Just follow that, that rib line. It's better to have boneless fish than fish with bones in it. So you don't have to uh, try and cut it really close. Make sure you get all those bones. Once you do that, you got to come back and right here in the center, you'll see that little blood line right there in the center of the fillet. You want to come right here and just cut a V. Just go back about an inch and cut a V because there's always a little run of bones right there. About that much meat. And uh, now you got a completely boneless fillet. Lane snapper. Well, let's see if he's got anything in his... Oh, he does have something in his stomach. He's got a bunch of stuff in there. What is he eating? Looks like he's just eating little minnows. Yeah, he's just eating minnows, man. Bunch of fish bones in there. Bunch of fish bones. Chowing down on them little minnows. Hey guys, when you finish cleaning your fish, you gotta make sure you clean the cleaning table really good, man. This this is a very nice facility here. And uh, it's in a marina. Last thing I wanna do is leave fish scum anywhere on this table. I don't wanna leave anything on the ground. It's a nice place. I wanna be able to come back here again and clean my fish. So make sure you get that table cleaned off really, really good less germs for the next guy all right guys we're gonna have some fun feeding catfish man there are just tons of catfish down here watch this we'll get them going good with these right here watch <laughs> 